welcome to our review about rate of reaction and how temperature affects it. Now this is one of those areas that is quite likely to come up as the six mark question on your C3 exam paper. So you've got to make sure you're really confident with what's happening in terms of the particles. So first thing to note is that when we're talking about a chemical reaction, the only time that's actually going to take place is if those particles of the reactants have collided together. Now, what we actually find is the more frequent those collisions are, then the faster our rate of reaction will be. Now, if we think about heating things up, any time we increase the temperature, what we're actually doing is transferring energy to our particles. So what we're giving our particles then is more kinetic energy, which means that they're going to be moving faster. At any point that our particles are moving faster, that means we have more frequent collisions. And that's the phrase you've got to get in your head, you've got to use in your exam paper. You can't just say that there are collisions to get your top marks on that six mark question. We need to say there are more frequent collisions. Now, when we're thinking about what determines the rate of our reaction, there are two things that we've got to consider. Number one is how frequently those collisions actually occur. And number two is how much energy is being transferred during the collision. So linked into that, if our temperature is actually too low, then what we find is even if our particles collide, they might not have enough energy to actually react. So what we'll find is, as we then increase the temperature, the amount of energy present in those particles is increased, which means the chance of a successful collision, i.e. one that actually has the reaction occurring, increases as well. 